Hi there, we're going to take a look at creating a lab practical in Mastering AAP from the Practice Anatomy Lab test bank. We're going to begin by clicking Create Assignment and selecting Create New Assignment from Scratch. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to do a urinary system. Now these can be handy for practice practicals before a major exam. You could even do multi-system practicals if you'd like to do that. You would change the title on that, obviously. Uh, I'm going to select items to take us to the item library. And here we need to switch away from the textbook and go to the Practice Anatomy Lab Test Bank. Ignore the big list. I've got special superpowers. And we want to go to the anatomical models. Please note, though, if you're teaching AMP1, we've got great histology images here. I'm going to go to anatomical models, and since I said urinary system, we'll go over to that. And you'll see right away I've got 39 possible items I can ask about, but don't get ahead of yourself because that actually includes multiple answer types. For a honest-to-goodness lab practical, I want simple text. So we're going to do that. And now we simply need to scroll through and see if the item is actually in our lab book before we can ask this. Adrenal gland is not, so I'll leave that out. A fair and arterial? Absolutely. Convoluter tubule? That's distal convoluter tubule. And if you want to preview these to see what's going on here, I'm going to select that. And that's definitely a distal convoluter tubule, so yes one. So yes, that's absolutely viable for my practical. Glomerular capsule, you bet. Kidney, it's easy, but yeah, let's put that in there. Loop of Henley, you bet. Uh, major calyx, yes. Major calyx functional anatomy, that's not an identification question, but you might want to consider. Let's, let's look and see what that has. The highlighted structure contains what? Fluid. You know what? That might be worth considering. I'm going to leave it out of this practical, though. Membranous urethra, be careful. In our lab book, we only have that one in the reproductive system, so I'm not going to ask that yet. Minor calyx, you bet. Keep on scrolling. Podocyte, not in our lab book. I'm not going to ask that. Renal artery, you bet. Renal cortex, renal pyramid, renal vein. Yes, that's in our lab book. Ureter, yes. Ureter functional anatomy, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Urethra, yes. And that looks like it's all we have available. You can actually create custom items if you want. And I can show you in a separate video how to make custom questions if you care to take photos of uh, models in our lab. But for now, let's hit save. And we'll go to the top. And I'll go to organization. And hit show description so we can see what all is listed here. And another really handy thing to do at this point is to put in a video for students to watch. So what I'm going to do is take us over to our D2L lab course. This is the lab course on D2L. You should all be a part of this. I'm going to open that and scroll down to lab videos. And we're interested in the urinary system, which I apparently clicked recently. And I'm going to take us over to YouTube to get a link for that. Let's grab a link to that by clicking share and copy. And then back over on our practical, I'm going to find the first question, check the box by that and add a message above that. And there I'm going to type, before you work on this assignment, please watch this video. Then I will highlight watch this video, click on the URL link, paste the URL in, and click OK. And just to make this more visible, I'm going to highlight all of that. And under formatting, make this huge text so it's a lot easier for students to see. Let's save that and go back to the course home. Open the calendar and now I'm going to drag that to the 25th. We'll save that and that has now been assigned to my students. When I click that and open in student view, 
My students will see this big announcement. Before you work on this, please watch this video. Then they have questions to answer. That is how you would create and assign a lab practical in Mastering AMP using the videos we have on campus and questions from the Practice Anatomy Lab. Hope this helps.